Peggy 16. In the previous episode of Life is Strange... That gun away from me! No! What the fuck? I already heard this lecture. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. You told him I had a gun! Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. <gasps> Max? Chloe? That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. I see everything here at Blackwell. Leave me alone! Hey, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. Oh no! He's headed straight for the town. October 11th? That's only four days away! Chloe! You're here. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. I had this same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. No amount of rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. What's up, Kate? School. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hey, Brooke. I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I was wondering if you could explain it. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max. Wow, thank you, Max. Hello, Juliet. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Do you believe everything you see? Now I feel like an ass. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore, or pass it on. Thanks, Juliet. Drink up. It's got electrolytes. You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Um, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine and then I drank water. Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. 
How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest, should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. Warren, what are you doing here? Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. That drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. Don't you know that Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. I want proof you can rewind time. I will predict the future. The trucker drops his mug, the cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and the jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. We have to play. Don't even answer. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Thanks, Max. One more for the road. Max, you have to help me aim. I need to see you shoot first. Aim a bit to the right. Aim slightly above. How about aiming for the left tire? My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know about this. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Excuse us, Frank. You owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Ah, oh, Christ. I'll consider this interest on your loan. You have until Friday to pay me or I'll track you down with this interest. You really stood your ground. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. You can't keep getting mad at me, especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. Now you have me to protect you. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? Let's take a break and I'll talk. That was awful, Chloe. Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway. Frank and I kind of hung out. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. 
I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Help! I got stuck! Hold on, Chloe. Sacrifice. The train. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which wire to cut? Whoa. The train's coming! The train's coming! That's the right table. You okay? You saved me again. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. Sir? I hope this isn't about the alleged gun. Nathan did have a gun. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Hi, Miss Grant. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Excuse me, Max. Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Listen! Everybody remain seated. Is this for real? Kate! No! <laughs> Ugh. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Yes. <gasps> Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help, like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Hey, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Kate, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I'll believe anything this week.